I hate my life at this moment. Oh my god. I know me. At the moment, it's 5.30 a.m. and I woke up at 4 a.m. 4 fucking a.m. So I feel like a zombie, I feel like I look like a zombie. I think the first thing that you're thinking is, oh, I thought your law school vlog series probably has ended. That's kind of true, but I got so freaking many sweet comments and uh, like on my Snapchat, on my Instagram, on my YouTube channel, every fucking where that you all wanted me to continue with the series. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because I can't do this on a daily basis. I can't do this on a weekly basis. I can do this on a random basis. Every time I think I have a cool day to vlog or I'm in the mood to vlog, I will vlog a day. I'm going to think of a schedule maybe every other week, but I'll see, you have to just subscribe and then you definitely won't miss a video. But today is actually I would call a horror day, like literally a terror day because it's going to be so fucking busy I'm going to go to press days this week I have two, today I'm going to Dordrecht which is three and a half hours and then three and a half hours back because I have to be in Groningen at like three o'clock which is ridiculous and then I have classes and important stuff which I will tell you later about and on Wednesday I also have um, a meeting in Amsterdam. These kind of days I'm like asking myself am I even alive? Like how can I live through a day like this? Yeah, let's go. Okay, quick outfit of the day. As always I'm late, of course. Um, my new coat, super furry coat, is from Zara. My um, like sleeveless um, turtleneck is from Primark and my shorts are from Zara and my boots are from H&M. Uh, okay, oh my god it's so dark. Oh, sorry, by the way, if this video contains a lot of bad lighting. Oh my god, and a struggling me. But that's just because it's so freaking early. Nobody is awake at this time. I'm going to Dordrecht to the Primark opening there. Uh, it's opening today. On Thursday, I have also like new summer spring collection of Primark uh, in Amsterdam, like the, sh the press day of it. So this week contains a lot of new Primark stuff, but I'm totally okay with it. Okay, <laughs> this is so weird because uh, there's literally almost nobody on the street, so I can, I don't know, <laughs> really easily talk on my bicycle without feeling super awkward. But the people that are on the street are drunk because yeah there's like partying every day in Groningen because it's a student city so I think all the people think I'm crazy <laughs> because they're all drunk she told me you'll never be Kim and Anouk, I'm waving wide. If you 
just a life, yeah, would you stay by my side? Or are you gonna say goodbye? Can you tell me right now? If I couldn't buy you the fancy things in life Baby, would it be alright? Come on, show me that you know Tell me, would you really ride with me? We all know what Crimania is, but just in case you don't know, it's our own sort of like social media platform um, for you guys to log on, upload your look. So we're really inspired by like catwalk trends, but we also take like a massive inspiration from like bloggers and street style. So it's really important for us to see like how you guys style the pieces in store and what you mix them with, like the looks you're making. So like please do like log on and like upload all your pictures and then you just hashtag Primania like with anything you're uploading, anything from today because we really do love seeing it. So this is everything that I got. It's quite a lot actually. Uh, and thumbs up this video if you want me to do a primer shop vlog. I'm now at Rotterdam Central Station and I'm so tired because I had to hurry my fucking ass up uh, because we actually had to wait a very long time for our coat like I already, I don't know, picked out everything, tried on everything and we had to wait so long before we could get our coat at the press opening I fucked up my schedule because I'll arrive in Groningen at 14.45 and my lecture begins at 3 o'clock which means that I don't have time to go home so I have to go to class with this bag and without any notebook again which is super annoying and yeah that kind of sucks and now I have to do two assignments on my way home to Groningen uh, and I'm very tired but I did get a smoothie <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, it's now 7 o'clock and this is the first time that I'm at home since I think 5.45 a.m. I kind of forgot to vlog these last couple of hours at uni because some important stuff was happening. In like two vlogs ago, I think, it's a vlog that's called Law of Attraction. I'll put the link right here if you want to watch it and haven't watched it yet. Um, I talked a little bit about my opinion of Law of Attraction and that um, I really felt like it's true and it works for me. With that being said, I filmed that video a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, and um, something had happened that I didn't really talk about on my blog because I was so devastated about it. And I really felt like I almost didn't want to upload that video about Law of Attraction because I didn't believe in it anymore. And what happened, well, for some people this may sound very stupid or something, but um, I lost my cum laude, or so I thought. Uh, I got a 6 for public international law, first 6 ever, and for some reason I had just such a bad feeling about like the debriefing, that I wouldn't manage it, that I would have not enough points, and that the teacher would be very strict, and I just, I don't know, I just had a very bad feeling about it. 
and I just couldn't shake it off and I kind of lost my whole motivation these last couple of weeks. Like my whole law or law school career, I had this goal in my head that I wanted to finish my bachelor cum laude and I worked so hard for it. And then all of a sudden I get a six that I didn't expect at all for a course that I thought wasn't that difficult and actually went pretty well because I studied very hard for it. I like asked a lot of questions during the lectures even like I really liked it too. I was so surprised. I didn't expect it at all. So uh, today was a very important day for me because I had the debriefing and this debriefing was two weeks later and what happened as a debriefing was actually that most students got pretty angry because the way we got our mark was very random. It was just all very vague. And I had a 6.1. My belief in the law of attraction is a little bit bigger. <laughs> I'm like, I still am kind of nervous about it, but I do think it's going to work. And after that, I also had a presentation for Honors College that went actually pretty well, despite the fact that I just made it uh, during my train ride today. So I actually got this package in the mail and I'm not sure what it is. I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure. It's always a surprise. So this this sweater button-up skirt uh, in this suede material but it's a very nude-ish material not like the regular camel suede color so I quickly made some dinner and uh, I like made myself a little bit more presentable changed my outfit as well and um, yeah I didn't finish the bonus assignment for a philosophy of law so I have to do it after I come home from the pooling night which kind of sucks but I really have to go now because I can't be late because that's kind of rude for the other committee members so uh, yeah I have to go now I hope you're happy that I'm vlogging again um, and if you aren't comment it down below too because I'm definitely also preparing like normal videos again so yeah I don't have anything else to say have a fucking amazing day or night and I'll talk to you later bye guys